Jammers, Snowy Claw here from the Animal Jam Spirit with some breaking news about AGHQ. If you've been following the posts regarding the subject on the Animal Jam Spirit, you know that Wildworks, aka AGHQ, has been working on some merchandise deals as of late. Last year, the company settled on a partnership with Jazzwares, a toy company based in Florida. They produce products for TV shows like Gravity Falls and Adventure Time, video games like Sonic and Plants vs. Zombies, as well as online games like Minecraft and Terraria. They seem to have a pretty good track record. What does this mean for Animal Jam? Well, Clark Stacy, the CEO of Wildworks, has been posting previews of the prototype animal and pet figurines on his Instagram page. He's visiting toy shows to start off the brand launch this year. He hints that products for consumers will be coming out as soon as June 2016, available at retailers nationwide in August 2016. The initial branch of toys includes multiple lines at various price points. There are Adopt-A-Pet collectible figures for $3.49, which have adorable little stackable homes, Core Friends with Pets and Accessories, $4.99, who have customizable outfits as well as little pets with them, Light Up Friends with Magic Ring, $8.99, which include a little black light ring that will reveal special animal patterns on the animal figurines. Themed Dens, $14.99, not a lot of details on those, sounds interesting. Small Plushies, $6.99, Deluxe Plushies, $14.99, and a Club Geoz Dance Party Playset with lights and sounds, <laughs> for $29.99. Wow, that's a lot of products. And this is the first big line that we've seen from Mage HQ. All of the products allow users to unlock exclusive game features online. That's about all the information you can find on news sites and press releases. However, on the website of an intern at the European branch of Wildworks, there seems to have been a little leak of possible AJHQ plans. The intern shows some interesting photos of his trading card project. It's hard to say whether this merchandise venture will continue to fruition, but it's certainly an interesting concept. Back in the beta development of the game, they had the same idea. My sister and I received those neat little alpha trading cards in our National Geographic Kids magazine. Along with the developments of his trading card game, the intern also let slip a really big project that Animal Jam HQ is working on. It seems that they are planning to create a television show. Ooh. What could this mean for Animal Jam? What kind of television series could the world of Jama create? What kind of characters? What kind of story? <laughs> seems like 2016 is going to be an exciting year. Stop by the Animal Jam Spirit for updates on these developments. We'll likely be getting more and more announcements and pictures throughout the month as all these toy conventions come to pass. I'll keep you posted. Until then, happy jamming!